Always remember, your focus determines your reality. Stay close to me, and you'll be safe. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, in this video today, we're going to talk about um, Malik, and with the release of Malik coming out for the second time, and with it being around the same time as a new G, as a new uh, Gene Ocean TB, how and and what is the best way to uh, distribute your gear to uh, you know Malik or the Geos or and now the Droids? Now that we have a new GG rework and a Magna Guard rework, and just all around like what is going to be the best way to you know. Um, distribute your your gear pieces your abilities like all the zetas and everything like that so um let's talk about that a little bit and let's get into the video so let's just start this off by going over the gear requirements first um we're going to talk about the geos for the first faction and then we'll go and talk about the droids and then malak last so first off the geos they're going to need all together between the four of these people um 15 carbs and four eyeballs we're going to just touch up on those two the carbs and the eyeballs um those are the most you know the hard to access and hard to farm uh gear things in this game so that's quite a bit for them i'd say but when you move over to the droids it just gets crazy um the nice thing here is that the geos are meant for the special mission for unlocking um, I'm pretty sure it's uh, either going to be the brood. No, no, no. It's going to be Wat Tambor, but you're going to need to get the brood beforehand to use for the special mission. Um, correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, I do need to do a little bit more research there for sure. But um, the droids um, aren't going to be needed for that mission, but just in general for any other missions that we might need them for. This is going to get you a, you know, a little bit of an idea of what you're going to need for the gear. So for the carbs, you're going to need a whopping 26 carbs between um, B2 right here, um, B1 there, Droidica, Grievous, and then all the way down here, Magna Guard. Magna Guard has quite a bit of of, uh, of carbs on him that you're going to need to get, and it's just kind of crazy. Droidica is another one of a heavy hitter for the carbs. And then for the eyeballs, you're going to need 11 eyeballs between all of them. So definitely a step up from the Geos, but nothing, you know, that you can't get done with like a lot of farming and, and preparation. And now the one that I am probably going to put mine on first for the carbs and the eyeballs are going to be Malik. Malik only needs four carbs and two eyeballs. He will need um, four cryos, but if you think about it, that's not really a as bad as you know trying to get 26 carbs or 15 carbs for the geos um i think it's a little bit better off um you might need to be dropping some crystals because you know the farming rates to you know just buying them straight up is about the same the the drop rates of the cryos are pretty ridiculously crappy you know um so it's just gonna be kind of tough so now that we know all the gear requirements, now we're going to go and chat about what I am as a free-to-play player going to spend these resources on um, now that we have potentially the Malak event coming out for the second time and the new uh, Geo Notion TB. Okay, so there's a few things we've got to bring up before we uh, talk about what I'm going to do personally. So we have first and foremost the new TB coming out. And then for other game modes in the game, you want to worry about um, GA and TW, and the main one is, is Arena for the crystal intake every day. Um, so for the Geos, they're 100% going to be for the new TB. Malik will be for uh, GA, TW, Arena. And now that we have a list for what you need for the platoons, now we can kind of figure out um, that Malak will be needed for that, so I guess you can say that Malak is going to be needed for the new TB as well. It's uh, depending on, uh, you know, the, the, the phase of the of what you're on for the TB, it kind of varies um, in star count, so yeah. So personally, as a free-to-play player, my, my first and foremost goal in this game is to get as much crystals as I can from uh, Arena. So a um, little bit ago, I, we've uh, had in the community a uh, slow pad mate into the game, and like uh, that can beat Malix and Darth Revan teams. I've done quite a bit of videos on it myself. Um, so that's a great um, way for me to climb an arena and get first place in my arena, and then in ships I can easily climb in that as well. So right now I'm not too worried about it, but we are starting to see a lot more seven star Malix, um, and that kind of worries me a little bit because Padme can, you know, 
Well, for the most part, I'd say 80 to 90% of the time can beat these maxed out Malik teams, but sometimes I just lose. So I think Malik is a great investment for myself and as a free play player for not only uh, Arena for the Crystals, but for GA and TW. The GA part is going to be huge because with Grand Arena, for Grand Arena Championships going to be coming out here shortly, um, you're going to get so much better rewards and being able to farm those tokens in the new token shop and later on we'll talk about what I'm going to be spending that on personally. Um, so really I think for me as a free to play player it's best off that I spend all these gear for the carbs, the eyeballs, and the new cryotechs. And that's mainly going to be going on my uh, my Malik. Alright so I kind of went over um, what I'm going to do personally as a free to play player. Malik's going to be my main focus for now until I get him to at least gear 11. But if you want to go past just free to play players and you want to talk about whales or you know dolphins that are just going to be now going to get Malik for the first time, it can uh, be a little bit of a hard thing I think. Um, um, I think that with the addition of these characters on the, on the screen right now, you can see Watts, Hambor, um, the new Geo, Brood Alpha, they're going to 100% being needed Cryotex and that kind of just kind of sucks man because now you're gonna be needing these cryotechs to uh, get them to that certain level, especially the Geonosian Brute Alpha, to a certain level. I think it's a 16,350 GP level just to be able to do the special mission to unlock Watt Sambor. And that's gonna be kind of a hard thing to uh, process and then what you wanna, you know, distribute your, your gear on. But if you wanna go from a, a guild standpoint and trying to support as much as you can for your guild, I would highly recommend getting him up and all your other Geos to that that benchmark of what you need um, to hit that and use and do the special mission to get shards for Watt Tambor. I think that's going to be a huge thing for your guild. Getting Watt Tambor, you know, quicker than everybody else is going to be a huge deal for you. Um, I just think that's going to be the best way to go. Depending on, you know, how much he's going to be needed for the cryo, stuff like that. It just all depends on the future. This is kind of like what I'm going to be doing personally myself as a free-to-play player. And now I'm going to like talk about what I think uh, other people can, uh, can think about and what they might want to do as well once these guys come out in the game. So I know it kind of, for, for me as a free-to-play player, it might sound a little bit, you know, uh, self-centered. A little bit, you know, not focused towards my guild. But I think it's going to be very important for myself to uh, grow in, uh, you know, my characters and develop a better roster if I go for the Malak route and getting Malak um, geared out first before I even worry about any of these Geos. Um, my guild has, uh, you know, we're trying to shoot for getting the team ready to go by at least, you know, the first couple rounds of the TB. Um, for me personally, as a free-to-play player, it's going to be very tough for me to do that and accomplish that goal. Um, I, I think that I might be able to if I hoard a lot of crystals from now and so when the mallet comes out, we don't know when that's going to be. Could be, you know, a month from now, could be a week or two from now, we just we just don't know. So I'm going to just again say that I'm going to go for Malik first, he's going to be the main priority, help me a lot in GA championships, a lot in the TW, stuff like that. Um, it just kind of sucks right now because all these events are going to be compiled all in at like one certain time. Um, you know, Malik's going to be coming out shortly, uh, the new TV's coming out shortly, and even on top of that, all the tokens and uh, for the new guild store, or for the new, uh, what's it called, the guild event store 2, whatever you want to call it, um, is going to be coming out as well. So it's going to be kind of hard to, you know, decide what you want to spend your resources on. So now that we went over all of like what I am going to do for... Uh, you know, distributing my gear stuff for, you know, the Geos, uh, Malik, and even like potential characters like Watt Tambor and Geo, Brood Alpha. Now let's go and chat about the new guild store, or the whatever you want to call it, the guild events. I don't really care, whatever you want to call it, the, the second version of it, and, and how you want to spend your resource in that. It's pretty simple and straight to the point. Okay, so now we're going to chat about the Guild Event Store um, version 2. Right now in the game we have a Championship Store, and that's going to be another thing I can chat about later on. But for now, let's chat about um, the Guild, um, the Mark II Guild Event Store, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'll, I'll pull up screenshots, we'll have it throughout the course of this video. Um, basically though, if we have a screenshot and a leak of the negotiator trying to, you know, sneak its way into it, and I'm not sure if that's going to be a legit thing or not. Hopefully it's not, fingers crossed, because if it is, that's going to screw over a lot of the player base, 
and they're gonna be like deciding whether or not they want to go for this new ship or the capital ship for the negotiator or if they want to spend all the resources and tokens on um, cryotechs and gear 12 plus finishers um, it's gonna be a really tough decision one I can't make personally um, because we don't know how the negotiator is gonna look as of yet but I think the safe bet to go with for now until we see what it looks like is going to be uh, for sure the cryos and uh, once you get like enough cryos we can actually spend those on um, the gear 12 plus finishers because the gear, the gear 12 plus finishers are going to require the cryotechs anyways and i just i just really don't like how they're trying to you know combine all this stuff into like one store i love the cryotechs being added that's like a must have and a thing we need to see and i like to see uh you know the gear 12 finishers being a little bit more easily accessible but just to the fact of adding this new you know negotiator capital ship just blows my mind i don't know why they would want to do that it would make a lot more sense to me if they were adding it into a uh, uh, special mission for the new tb uh, maybe it's like a unlock thing and then you can farm up more shards from you know the new the new shop i'm okay with that kind of way but just to have it like all go into the tokens I, I just th I think that's so dumb and a waste of my tokens because I don't want to be wasting money in the ship, man, when I can be farming for a new gear 12 plus character, get, getting them gear 13. That's going to be huge for Arena, for, you know, GA, TW, all that kind of stuff. And to wrap this all kind of up here is to talk about this championship store. And this does include Cryotex in it, so the point could be made, and it, and it has a little bit of uh, the Gear 12 Plus as well. So the point could be made that you could uh, focus on your championship store depending on how well you're ranking and, and what you're getting for the tokens. You can just spend those on in this store to get those pieces. And then on the other store for the Mark II tokens, you can focus those on the ship if the ship is being added via the new, the new store. Um, in that way, um, you, right now you only get like 8 for like 560, you get 5 of these for 500. Um, crowd techs are going to be a little bit easier to get to farm. These finishers are going to take you a long, long time to get for sure. So that kind of, and, and this championship store kind of frees, uh, frees you up to uh, being able to potentially farm the new, gen or the new negotiator once that kind of releases and, and rolls out. So, uh, do you guys agree with my points? Um, would uh, you personally, uh, if you are now unlocking Malak for the for the first time when he when he does come around this next time, are you going to be focusing all the gear onto him? Are you going to focus on these droids here, or are you going to work on Geos for the special mission in the new TB? So let me know in the comments section below what you're going to be doing. Um, personally, I'm going to go with my Malik. I think that's going to be a lot better off for me to do. And later on, I can easily get the Geos up pretty easily. You can see right now that they're not too bad off. I can I can spend a little bit of the carbs on my son Fak. He is pretty highly needed for the carbs. Um, just to you know make sure that I hit that goal to being able to use them in the special mission. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, share, comment. I'd love to hear your comments on this video in the comments below. Come join in Discord. Discord link is in the description of the video. If you do want to support my channel even further, feel free to go check out the Patreon link. Patreon link is also in the description. Um, besides that though, guys, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you guys later. Nice. Ah!